Hello and good day, welcome to our YouTube channel, God's Promises. And today's video will be a fast, concise overview. Book of Amos, Chapter 9. Let's get started now. The Book of Amos is one of the 12 minor prophets of the Hebrew Bible. It is named after its author, Amos, a shepherd and fig farmer from the town of Tekoa in Judah. The book contains nine chapters, each with its own unique message and teaching. In this essay, we will explore the final chapter, Amos 9, and its significance for today's world. Chapter 9 begins with a vision that God showed Amos of the destruction of the temple and the people of Israel. However, God also promises to restore the fortunes of Israel and to rebuild their cities. He will plant them in their land, and they will never again be uprooted. This chapter contains both a message of judgment and a message of hope. It speaks to the consequences of disobedience and the blessings of obedience. The people of Israel had turned away from God and had become corrupt, with injustice and oppression rampant in the land. As a result, God's judgment had fallen upon them. However, God's promise of restoration offers hope for the future. The chapter then turns to a message of judgment against the surrounding nations. God declares that he will punish the nations for their sins, including Philistia, Tyre, Edom, Ammon, and Moab. The reasons for this judgment include their treatment of Israel and their own sins, including violence, enslavement, and disregard for human life. The chapter concludes with a promise of restoration and renewal for Israel. God will rebuild the fallen tent of David, and the people of Israel will possess the remnant of Eden and all the nations who bear his name. The land will be restored and become more fruitful than ever before. The teaching application of Amos 9 for today's world is that the consequences of disobedience to God's commands are severe. The judgment against Israel and the surrounding nations serves as a warning to all who would turn away from God and embrace injustice and sin. However, the promise of restoration and renewal offers hope and encourages us to turn back to God. Today, we see similar examples of injustice and oppression in our world. There is violence, slavery, and disregard for human life in many parts of the world. The consequences of such actions are severe and history has shown that nations and civilizations have fallen because of their disobedience to God's commands. However, there is hope. As God promised to restore Israel, He promises to restore all who turn back to Him. This requires repentance and a turning away from sin, but the promise of restoration and renewal is worth it. As we work towards a more just and equitable world, we must remember that it is only through obedience to God's commands that true restoration and renewal can occur. In conclusion, Amos 9 contains a message of judgment and hope. It reminds us of the consequences of disobedience and the blessings of obedience. The promise of restoration and renewal encourages us to turn back to God and work towards a more just and equitable world. As we strive for this, let us remember the lessons of Amos 9 and the importance of obedience to God's commands. Thank you for visiting us today. Please share with us your favorite Bible chapter below in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help our channel grow. Looking forward to see you back here for our next video. Always take good care.